Welcome to the Dynon channel, Skyview user interface, how to control the Skyview system. The Skyview display with built-in controls is designed to perform all the system functions through an easy to use intuitive user interface. Please note that the Skyview D700 7 inch display and Skyview D1000 10 inch display are identical in functionality and presentation. The only difference is in the size and resolution of the screen. Here's a quick overview of the basic components of a Skyview unit. The top bar displays several different items. Autopilot mode function, current time, and transponder status can all be displayed in the top bar. The main Skyview screen layout can be easily adjusted by the pilot to show 19 different combinations of primary flight display, or PFD, engine and moving map data. Labels along the bottom of the screen that correspond with the underlying joystick knobs and buttons are contextual. The function indicated corresponds to what is displayed on the main screen or what menu selection has been chosen. The main menu provides the pilot a gateway to Skyview's controls and functions. Adjustment and operation of the primary flight display, engine EMS page, map and flight planning, screen layout, alerting system, along with autopilot and transponder controls, if installed, are all accessed from the main menu. Upon power up, the Skyview display will present the main menu. The left and right joysticks that book in the buttons along the bottom of the display can be manipulated as joysticks, knobs, or push buttons. The joystick's current assigned function is denoted in the associated right or left bottom corner of the screen. Eight buttons correspond to the label denoted along the bottom of the screen. The Skyview user guide or installation manual reference these control buttons as one through eight, starting with the leftmost key. A light sensor is incorporated into the display between buttons four and five. This sensor allows Skyview's high resolution display to dim or brighten based on the ambient light level at any given time. The joystick knobs and buttons on the Skyview display are designed to provide intuitive use of multiple functions. In many cases, when navigating the Skyview menus, rotating the knob, moving the joystick, or pressing a menu button will all lead to the same outcome. Rotation of the joystick knob is used often in the Skyview interface. Primarily, either knob is rotated to change the value of the selected function displayed on the screen directly above the corresponding knob. Typically, rotating the knob will be used to select a new heading, altitude, or adjust the altimeter setting. White boxes appear around the associated function on the primary flight display. The background of the associated box also changes as the values are changed through the rotation of the knob. With the map displayed, the joystick nearest the map is automatically assigned to map functions. Rotating the assigned map knob changes the map range. Within various map flight planning and information menus, rotation of the knob will scroll the cursor up or down through the displayed list. To input a waypoint or other data into the Skyview system, the pilot selects the appropriate characters through the rotation of the knob and moves between selected characters by pushing the joystick function of the knob left or right. From the normal screen display, moving the joystick any direction will open the joystick knob function menu. The pilot can move the function menu by clicking the joystick up or down, thus moving the cursor over the desired function. Once the desired function is highlighted, moving the joystick left or right closes the menu, thus selecting the highlighted function. While in the function menu, full operation of the highlighted function is available through rotation of the corresponding joystick knob. If the pilot does not select left or right, the menu will time out after six seconds with the highlighted function remaining the active function. From various on-screen menus, moving the joystick left or right will select other tabs. From a tab, then moving the joystick down will place the cursor into a value field for data input by the pilot. When the map is displayed, moving the map assigned joystick left or right or up or down will place the system into map panning mode. And a cursor will appear along with the data box showing the cursor's lat long as well as distance, bearing, and time from the aircraft's present position. The map can be zoomed in or out, waypoints can be created, 
and a nearest airport search can all be accomplished from the cursor's present position. The pilot can exit the panning mode and return the map to the aircraft's present position by pressing the center of the joystick knob. Pressing the joystick knob again will re-enter the panning mode and place the cursor back to the last pan position. Whenever the pilot enters the panning mode through the movement of the joystick knob, the cursor begins panning from the aircraft's present position. The function of any one of the eight buttons is based on the label displayed above the corresponding button along the bottom of the screen in the main menu. Through these contextual labels, buttons 1 through 8 can be used to enable or disable features, change the state of systems, or perform designated actions. In addition to the contextual function displayed at any given time, several of the buttons have assigned functions that are performed when these specific buttons are pressed and held. The system will power on or off through the press and hold of the number one button. Holding buttons 7 and 8 will enter the system's configuration menu. To perform a system reboot, the user can hold buttons 1, 2, and 5. For more information on the planning or capabilities of Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com where you can find links to our Skyview installation guide and other valuable resources like our user forum. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.